Welcome into sports everybody sign on the line which is dotted. It was National Signing Day, the first of two for high school football players and their future college coaches. Because of COVID, a little different here in 2020. Some celebrations taking place privately, others going off on school campuses like always. In all, 10 local kids signing to play with D1 schools. We'll get to them in a second. But first, Lincoln Riley does it again. The Sooners signing 16 players. It's the number one class in the Big 12 with the number one quarterback in the country, Caleb Williams out of Washington, D.C. So the skill set, the natural confidence, and you know just uh, the charisma that he has. I mean, you feel like he's got every tool to, to have a chance to be a really, really good player. All right, so Caleb Williams and receiver Mario Williams, both five-star prospects. 11 others in the class are four stars, including linebacker Clayton Smith and defensive tackle Kelvin Gilliam, the top defensive recruits. It's just a really good class. Sooners number 12 in the country, number seven if you go by star average. All right, Mike Gundy signing 20 players. OSU's class ranked in the high 30s. Seven kids from Oklahoma in this one, including the three highest rated defensive players, Aiden Kelly, defensive tackle from Thomas, Colin Oliver, a linebacker from Santa Fe, and this guy, Muskogee safety, Ty Williams. Really high school, just going to be an athlete. So I'm trying to get that, that, uh, technical work for where I can move on to the next level and so on and hopefully get to the NFL. Well, Ty Williams is a freakish athlete. <clears throat> he's he's going to be 210 pounds someday. He's going to run four or five. He's got really good ball skills. We have a good relationship with the people in Muskogee. They speak very highly of him as a um, young man and what he brings to the program. So I think he's a great fit here. The other Green Country native signing with OSU today, Jenks offensive lineman Logan Nobles. At 6'6", 260, he was great all year long, helping pave the ways the Trojans offense rolled to a state title. Very excited. You know, there's a whole bunch of talent there. There's a great running backs, you know, great quarterbacks, great, I mean, every everything. There's, there's potential at every single spot, you know. That just means, you know, whenever I get there, it's not going to be as easy as, you know, walking in, I start, you know, it has to, I'm going to have to put in a whole bunch of effort you know, push myself every day. Now for TU, most of the signings are still to come. Phillip Montgomery receiving commitments from six players, including dual threat quarterback Braylon Braxton from Frisco, Texas. Expect eight or 10 more to sign in February. So much recruiting during this cycle done virtually. And Coach Monty, not a fan of that. I'll pretty much stand that I hated it. Just can't get out, you know, and, and you're, you're talking about trying to be able to go evaluate kids, find that kind of diamond in a rough guy that you see so much potential in that you know his ceiling is really, really high. You're trying to get to know his personality. You're trying to get to know his family. You're trying to get to know all those little things that are so important as you're building your program. And, and uh, that's difficult to do on the phone or via Zoom. He is good at finding those diamonds in a rough. Preseason game number two for the Thunder in OKC. The good guys blown out by the Bulls, 124-103, 15 points for Al Horford. The Arkansas Invasion on signing day in green country. 